Is Iran supporting them? Do you think that the $400 billion spent on war in the Middle East is going where? From the day the American troops and the Allied troops entered Iraq and Afghanistan, terrorism has increased a hundredfold. Just two days ago, they carried out a an explosion, a terrorist finally, attack in Iran and killed women. And a month before that, they set a bomb and exploded it in a mosque, which killed a large number of people. We are victims of terrorism. Let me switch. We are victims of terrorism. Uh, the Zionist regime is the statue would you support of Israel? state terrorism. Would you support Israel if it renounced Zionism? Yes, we are opposed to Zionism. We say that in Palestine, people must be allowed to decide we, that they have a right to national sovereignty and exercise that right. The Security Council has that, the, that, but the charter cannot be enforced as such. How does that work? And let me switch to another question because of our time. Will you release Charter I'm sorry to interrupt, with all, has right. allowed allow me has allowed the Palestinian nation the right to national sovereignty. Why is nobody following the Charter of the United Nations with regards to the right of the Palestinian people? We're saying that the Palestinian nation must be allowed to decide for itself and that occupiers must leave. Everybody must return to their own homes. And then the problem will be resolved. Speaking, speaking, speaking no of return. Turning to your own home, as if I can ask you another question. Will you release the two American hikers? You can do it right now. You can announce it at this moment in front of this camera that you will release the two American hikers who are still being held. Could you tell? Could you tell me, like for example, that two and a half million American prisoners would suddenly be released today or tomorrow? So you're saying it will have to go through Why the judicial system? Why are they in prison in the first? Yes. Would you meet with Benjamin Netanyahu? Why should I meet with him? To uh, Are you ordering me to? No, I'm asking. I, it seems like you're then ordering sir, what me would, to now. What would you say to him? I, why should I meet with him? Or, no, I will not meet with him. And oh, of course, my message is that he they should return to their own homes. They should stop killing people and stop waging war and not uh, engage in terror and not build uh, atomic bombs some and not say, to place the people the in the Gaza under nation. pressure. Well, people are free to hear everything and judge for themselves, though some are not you. So some are not you, right? No, I'm very free to hear. But the final question. You how are would the media. You are uh, nonpartisan and impartial, right? How do you hope? How do you hope to? Time's up. How? How do you hope to cement American Iranian relations? The president has said the door is open for negotiations. Can you reach out to the administration, and are you willing to fully, freely, and fairly to come clean about your nuclear program? We don't see a problem with our nuclear program, and we are not trying to come clear so that everybody can rest assured of anything, because from the day that we exercise our own freedom and exercise democracy, the American officials seem to be concerned for us. Ever since we forced dictatorship out of our country that was a dependent on the United States, they have not had a rest. So it's not our job to make others rest. Uh, but if the U.S. government accepts international law and justice and fairness with regard to us and respect to us, then opportunities will be the government, before it. The U.S. government says you should do the same. But if it's going to continue the same way it has so far, the conditions will remain and the same. And do you believe the Mahdi is coming soon? Do you know Mahdi? Some, the 12th Iman, 
Do you, but, but an apocalypse must come. Do you know what his characteristics are? Please tell me. He loves mankind. He's a friend of mankind. He is opposed to killing. He is opposed to discrimination. He opposes poverty. He wants everyone to be friends. He wants no one to force its will on others. He wants no domination, occupation, and terror. He wants everyone to be honest, to back each other up. But for him to come, there must be an apocalypse. Not at all. He will come to end the murders, to end the occupations, to make everyone friends so that everyone will love each other. Is it wrong to for such person to come and arrive? Uh, we think it's good. We think the world needs it. And he will come. Thank you. Much sooner than you think or would know. Thank you.